breaking from White House traitor just backstabbed Trump, this is huge. The left has been foaming at the mouth ever since Donald Trump was elected President of the United States. These anti-American traitors were convinced that Hillary Clinton would win and continued Barack Obama's destructive policies of dismantling America. However, those plans were thwarted when the American people banded together and sent a resounding no to these politicians by voting for Trump. Every step that Trump has taken he has faced ridicule, lies, and hate from the tolerant left. These lies have ranged from Trump conspiring with Russia to win the election to him being a racist bigot who desires to send all minorities to FEMA camps. Because of these lies, Trump has done his best to surround himself with people he can trust, but even those individuals have turned out to be wolves in sheep clothing as we all found out just today. After the sudden dismissal of Omar Rosa Manigault Newman, who served as the White House's Director of Communications for the White House Office of Public Liaison, people around the country were shocked. For years Omar Rosa Manigault Newman was one of Donald Trump's biggest fans, but as it turns out, she is just another White House traitor biding her time to backstab her former mentor at the very first chance she had. Not even 24 hours after being let go, Amaro Zamanigal Newman was already sitting down with the liberal mouthpieces at Good Morning America to share her side of the story and throw President Trump under the bus. Here is more from people although Amaro Zamanigal Newman denies being fired from her role in President Donald Trump's administration, the former reality star alluded to situations in the White House that made her feel uncomfortable and upset, leading to her resignation. In a sit-down with Michael Strahan on Good Morning America Thursday, Manigault Newman shot down reports that she was dramatically escorted out of the White House after being canned. Chief of Staff, John Kelly and I had a very straightforward discussion about concerns that I had, issues that I had raised, and as a result, I resigned and it will be taking place January 20, when I leave this very interesting administration, she said. Manigault Newman explained that while Trump chose me for his team, Kelly may not have wanted her on his roster. However, the former director of communications for the White House Office of Public Liaison revealed that she was unhappy with the handling of certain situations. When Strahan asked about reports that she was displeased with the handling of this year's Charlottesville riots and Trump's support of Roy Moore in the race for Alabama senator, she was vague but promised to share her thoughts someday. Because I am serving until, January, 20th, I have to be very careful about how I answer this, she said. But there were a lot of things that I observed during the last year that I was very unhappy with. That I was very uncomfortable with. Things that I heard and observed. I can't expand upon it because I still have to go back and work with these individuals. Manigault Newman continued, when I have a chance to tell my story, quite a story to tell as the only African-American woman in this White House, as a senior staff and assistant to the President. I have seen things that made me uncomfortable, that have upset me, that have affected me deeply and emotionally, that has affected my community and my people. When I can tell my story, it is a profound story that I know the world will want to hear. Manigault Newman explained that her pass had been changed to restrict her access at the White House and denied reports that she tried to enter the residence at the White House. Certainly I had more access than most, and people had problems with that, she said. People had problems with my 14-year relationship with his president, but I've always been loyal to him, straightforward, and I've provided him with the support he needed throughout this year. There is no reason that Amaro Zamanigault Newman needed to sit down right away with these liberal hacks and start slinging dirt about Trump. It is obvious she is pissed over being fired and is desperately attempting to save face by starting rumors about President Trump to the mainstream media. If she had any class and dignity, she would keep her mouth shut and just release a press statement saying she has decided to pursue other ventures. These vindictive individuals will do whatever they can to bring Trump down to save their own skin. 